This isn't going to be one of those YouTube channels mm. where all I talk about is growing your glutes. Don't get me wrong, as your coach, it is my duty to give you what you need. So we will be getting cheeked. But train upper body because what would you do if you were hanging on the side of the cliff and emergency services said you need to hang for at least, at most a minute. And when we get there, when they get to you, what you need to do is pull yourself up just a little bit so that you can reach something and that is the only way you survive. Would you be able to do it? No, because your arms are weak, because you didn't take care of your upper body. Training upper body is important and that is my number one driving factor along with several other things which I will talk about as we get into this pool session. We're going to speak about the importance of training upper body and why you're absolutely sleeping on the job if you are just training your glutes. Don't get me wrong, it's amazing to have glutes. Like, it was my goal, like double cheek out, eh? But upper body needs some attention, yeah? Upper body needs some attention too, yeah? Even if your goal is just to grow your glutes, when you're moving the weights around, or what's moving them, your hands, and the heavier you lift for your lower body, the more you need strength in your upper body to move the weights around. Look at these bad boys. If you haven't got strength in your upper body and you try to lift more of this to move to do your hip thrust, you might strain something. Okay? Upper body strength is important. I'm going to keep saying this throughout this video. First exercise on the menu is pull-ups. I'm going to start off by doing some body weight ones and then I'm going to go into some weighted. I'm not going to go and max out. I'm going to keep it really light. I'm going to add the five kilos and I'm just working my strength back up because I actually haven't done weighted pull-ups in a, a very long time but yeah using chalk because my hand has opened up twice hey let me not discourage you let me not share that story with you some people would say use gloves but i'm not gonna lie i go to bodybuilding gyms and the man then be laughing at me telling me that i'm such a girl if i was to use gloves so chalk how many i get after doing some body weight ones as well right God is my strength and my portion forever, amen. <sighs> Not bad, but can be better. Not bad, but can be better. Pull ups work your lats, which is the largest muscle in your upper body. And I just feel like they're the cheat code because you can do your lap pull downs, which we will go on to do your lap pull downs, which are really good. And you should be doing loads of exercises to strengthen your back. But I'll be honest and tell you that I just do a lot of pull ups and my lats and my upper back is covered. You also want to hit your lower back, which again, I'm going to be doing some deadlifts. I'm also going to be doing some seated rolls, hitting my mid and lower back. You want to have a strong back. Why? Your spine is literally in your bed. It's your spine, your back. Same thing. So training your back is strengthening it because you're not just thinking about who you are in the next six to eight, eight weeks. You're thinking about who you are in 10, 20 years time. And having a strong back just carries you throughout because your spine is protected by the muscle that surrounds it. Also, when you see my back like this, it doesn't mean your back or your muscles are going to look like an absolute unit just because you're training your upper body. If that's not what you want, you don't have to end up looking like that. It takes a very specific type of way to train and eat and lift to look that way, but you can maintain your upper body and not look like this, okay? And if you do want to look like this, well, baby, then you got to put the work in. You got to put the work in. I'm happy to tell you that it's not my own strength. It's the strength of the Lord. I boast in my weakness so that Christ's strength can rest all the more on me. Because it's not me or for me to even get to the gym, you think it's me. It's the consistency, the persistence of the Lord's overwhelming love for me. Somebody praise him with me. Say hallelujah, Jesus. It was at this point that I didn't realize that my mics were switched off and I continued on this way. So let me just explain to you what I was saying. I am going to do deadlifts. Deadlifts is a compound exercise, meaning it recruits more than one muscle when you are performing it. So you want to do it to the beginning of your workout. So you want to do your compound lifts at the beginning just because they require more of you. So you want to be in the best position to do them as best as possible without injuring yourself. Without talking too much, I got into my warm up 
and the devil is a liar can't believe my mics didn't work there are different types of deadlifts this is a conventional deadlift you get romanian deadlifts rdls in short you get sumo deadlifts and this is my favorite lift also would like to add that deadlifts really do hit your lower back next on the menu is lat pull downs now as I was saying, even though my mics weren't working, as I was saying throughout the workout, that this is not hard stuff. Don't make training upper body harder than it needs to be. You've So far, we've done three exercises. You can do a machine-assisted pull-up machine. You go for a lighter deadlift, and then you go on two machines from here on out. So we're going into a lat pull-down, which does, as it says on the tin, you want to pull the bar to your chest. You don't want to lean too far back too much, but you want to slight lean and you want to pull the bar to your chest attacking your lats again so similar to your pull-ups this is what you would do to strengthen your muscles to get to pull-ups you don't want to be sat straight up and pull it down because that that's not doing what the machine intends to do but here are a few reps of great form if i do say so myself not gonna lie to you back to reasons why you should be training upper body my next point is this some of you not all of you but some of you want to have children news flash babies don't sit in your glutes they sit in your womb which is opposite to your spine so a strong lower back and a strong upper body in general will help you throughout pregnancy and when that baby comes you don't hold your baby with your knees you hold your baby with your hands and that's going to activate your shoulders your biceps your triceps and having stronger upper body muscles will help in just the practicality of it all our next exercise is seated rows these are on the higher side you do get some machines which the machine cable is located slightly lower hitting more of your lower back this is more mid and upper and my last point is this upper body strength is functional you're trying to open something in the kitchen or you're lifting some shopping practical reasons why you should be maintaining and slightly even gaining some strength again we're not thinking about who we are in the next six to eight weeks it's about who you're going to be in 10 15 years and the deposits that you make in the gym right now will really benefit you when you are much older let's recap on how easy this workout was to do you go into the gym you do pull-ups you can do them assisted banded then you go into some deadlifts you work with weights which are suitable for your strength and your ability you do a lat pull down and a seated roll some gyms even have them in the same place so you can superset them and lastly you do some bicep curls strengthening your long and your short head in your biceps that's it and you do this once a week to maintain you can throw in other exercises like a few push-ups you can do some triceps if you want to just make your upper body days one day in the week or if you want to separate them but keep them like just once a week okay cool train your glutes two three times a week but spare a moment for your upper body because you're gonna thank yourself later when you're a nana and you got a little strength to you as always at the end of every session stretching and cooling down yeah i really hope that some of you take me really seriously because i really don't like seeing the girlies neglecting their upper bodies because you won't look like hulk hogan beloved you will just be stronger and it will be a lot more practical in your life. Love you. Take care. Bye-bye.